Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Bryce. And we have been living in this van for a little over five months now. We bought this van, had some repairs done, renovated it, and hit the road all for less than $10,000. But we're going to break down our costs and show you how we did it. So we bought the van for $3,500 off Craigslist. It was originally listed at $6,500 but I had a mobile mechanic service go out and inspect the van before we purchased it. The mechanic told us he thought it would be a good deal if we could get it between $3,000 and $4,000. I told this to the seller and we were able to come to an agreement at $3,500. Once we bought the van, we registered it in the state of Florida, paid the appropriate sales taxes on it, and this came out to about $400. After buying the van, we took it to a trusted mechanic and had him take care of the issues that were brought up in the original mechanics inspection. Uh, these were mostly just major tune-up items, no real problems with the engine, but bit by bit it did add up. So we ended up spending about $3,325 to get this thing road ready. So all in all for the van itself we spent about $7,500. Our first cost for the build was for lumber and materials, so that includes everything we needed for the subfloor and the bed frame and the cabinets. Um, it also included the insulation that's below the subfloor and the reflectix that's in the ceiling. And the total for all of that was $500. Our mattress was $150. We got it on Amazon. It's an 8-inch memory foam mattress and we love it. <laughs> So we have a self-priming hand pump faucet and two five-gallon jerry cans that makes up our water system. And the total for that was $60. So our floor is vinyl plank flooring, which we got from a flooring warehouse. It only extends about a quarter of a way behind the bed because you wouldn't be able to see it under the bed anyway. Our ceilings are cedar plank that we got from Home Depot, and these run laterally from where the cab ends to the back of the van. So our floors and ceiling cost about $175. So our biggest cost during the build was our solar power system. It took us a while to decide whether we wanted to go for this cost or not, but in the end we decided to go for it and we're really glad that we did. We've already done a whole video detailing our solar power system, so if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. But in total, our solar power system costs about $1,000. So I made curtains for all of the windows and used burlap to cover up some side paneling on the walls and as pockets for our end tables. And the total for all of the material for that was about $40. We have two large storage bins in the back of the van and a couple small ones in the kitchen and the total for that was about $50. So we brought most of our kitchen supplies from home but we had to buy a couple of new things and that includes a Coleman stove and some pots and pans and other miscellaneous things and the total for all of that came out to about $120. So we also stocked a small emergency kit in case of any emergencies on the road. This included jumper cables, a jack, a tire plug kit, a small compressor to fill a flat tire, uh, and just some other items including engine oil, brake fluid, transmission fluid, and coolant. And all of these items came out to be about $225. So altogether, we spent only about $2,500 on the build. So adding that to the cost of the van, we spent about $10,000 to renovate the van and get on the road. So after five months and 15,000 miles on the road, we've had other repairs that we've had to pay for. This included a new radiator, new fuel injectors, a mechanic that ripped us off and redid our whole front brake system. Uh, but all in all, these came out to be about $2,000. So all in all, to buy the van, have necessary repairs done, and build out the interior, spending five months and 15,000 miles on the road, we spent about $12,000. So if you've seen our most recent video, you know that we just sold our van. We sold it about a week ago for $12,000, which allowed us to break even completely um, with all of the costs for the van. 
uh, which include uh, buying it and the mechanical repairs in the beginning and the build and all of the repairs along the way. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So our net cost for the van was zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we feel pretty happy about that. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty incredible. Um, so we lived in the van for five months. And during that time, our living expenses totaled about $8,000. Now, during this time, we were also able to work a little bit. I work online as a tutor, and then Courtney's been doing the YouTube thing. So during this time, we earned about $4,500. So our net expenses for five months on the road, traveling and living in the van, were $3,500. So that means that we only spent about $700 per month or $350 per person per month. So we're really, really excited about that. Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> so while living in the van, we drove 15,000 miles through 16 US states and Canada and visited 24 national parks. So to do all of that for only three thousand five hundred dollars uh it feels pretty incredible yeah <laughs> so if you haven't seen our most recent video go ahead and check that out yeah we explain why we sold the van and what our next plan is <laughs> that was so that's how much we spent to buy a van build it out hit the road and live in it for five months we hope you found this helpful if you're considering joining van life or taking a road trip Thanks for watching, and let us know if you have any questions. Bye. <laughs> there, that one was good. Bye.